Hello mathematician, welcome to this standard tutorial whereby we are going to consider area scale factor. And to do that you want to consider these two triangles. Triangle A C D. Triangle A C D. Triangle A C D. We want to calculate the area of this triangle. This triangle we have three signs. So first of all we get the, the half of the perimeter S. It will be given by half of A A C plus C D plus A D half of that which is equal to half in, in this diagram, AC is 4 plus 8, which is 12, plus CD is 9, plus AD, AD is uh, 4 plus 2 is 6. So this is 21, which is equal to 27, divided by 2, which is equal to 13.5. And now because in this triangle we know the three signs, the area of that triangle, area we are going to apply those formula which tells us that area is given by square root of S minus A uh, multiplied by S minus B multiplied by S minus C. You take square root of all this. S is of the perimeter which is equal to our S is 13.5 multiplying by 13.5 minus a. a. Our a will be 12 minus 12. Multiplying by 13.5 minus 9. Multiplying by 13.5 minus uh, 6. So you take square root of all that. This will give you 13.5 times 13.5 uh, minus 12 will give you 1.5. Multiplying by 13.5 minus 9 will give you 4.5. 13.5 minus 6 will give you uh, 7.5. Everything here you get square root. So you can you square that. When you square all this, when you multiply all this, you are going to get. Uh, 683.44 When you simplify that, you are going to get uh, uh, 683.44 equal to two decimal places. Square root of this will give you um, 26.14. Uh, let's say the unit are in centimeter, square centimeter. So that is the area of that big triangle. Next, we consider a triangle A. B, A. So we get S there, which is given by half into bracket A, B plus B, A plus A, A. We simplify half. A, B is, uh, A, B is 4 plus B, E is 3. And uh, a E is 4, which is equal to, this is 7, 11, 11 over 2, which is equal to 5.5. Then from there now, we apply EOS formula. So area of triangle A, B, A will be given by S, square root of S minus S A 
multiplying by s minus sb multiplying by s minus sc we take square root of this which is equal to our s is 5.5 multiplying by 5.5 minus a our a is 4 multiplying by 5.5 minus 3 multiplying by 5.5 minus 4 which is equal to you get square root of that all of it 5.5 5.5 times 5.5 minus 4 it will give you 1.5 times 5.5 minus 3 it will give you 2.5 times 5.5 minus 4 it will give you 1.5 square root of everything here so uh, remember this is square root of all this part here everything is square root so you multiply those so when you multiply this uh, it is going to give you that point 94 when we write equal to two decimal places, that point in 94. Then we take square root of the answer, which will give you uh, 5.56. Uh, five, six, five, six square centimeter. Now, uh, because we are looking at the area scale factor, so area scale factor, area scale factor, will be given by area of triangle, this big triangle here, A, C, D, area of triangle A, C, D, divided by area of triangle A, B, E, A, B, E which is equal to which is equal to 26.14 square centimeter divided by 5.56 square centimeter which is equal to So area square factor will be given by area of triangle, the big triangle A, A, C, D, dependent by the area of triangle A, B, E, which is here. So you simplify those to get. So after dividing those two, uh, you are going to get your result as 4 point seven. So, so, so generally, area scale factor will be given by area scale factor will be given by area of image divided by area of object area of the image divided by area of object for example if you are given area of object as equal to uh, 5.56 square centimeter and you are given area scale factor as equal to 4.7 you can be told to find area of image so this is very simple you just apply area scale factor is equal to area of 
image divided by area of object then you come here and substitute 4.7 is equal to area of image divided by uh, 5.56 uh, square centimeter then you cross multiply so area of image will be given by 4.7 multiplied by 5.56 which is equal to you can use your calculator to simplify that that uh, you have 4.7 multiplied by 5.56 uh, that will give you 26.13 square centimeter clearly you can see that is the same value as to the one which we obtained up here so basically when you are given uh, the area scale factor and you are given a uh, area of the image that is how they relate now in the case you are given linear scale factor in, in case you are given area scale factor area scale factor Maybe you are given it as 9. To get linear scale factor, what you do? So, linear scale factor is found by getting the square root of area scale factor, which is equal to 9, which is equal to three so that is what you do in case you are given volume scale factor volume scale factor let's say you are given 27 so to get linear scale factor from volume scale factor what you do you find the cube root cube root of volume scale factor which is equal to cube root of 27 which will give you uh, 3 so, so that is how you obtain a uh, linear scale factor from uh, area scale factor you get the square root and once now if you are given volume scale factor you you compare you compare the you get the cube root now so volume scale factor volume scale factor will be given by volume of image divided by volume of object uh, similarly uh, area scale factor we have said here it is given by area of image or by area of object so from here now you can get the unknown so thanks so much for taking time to study with me on this study tutorial uh, remember to like to share and also to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss a single video which i upload every day